Hi guys doing and welcome to another Arc Garage video. Today I'm gonna be taking apart the whole center console on Alfa Romeo 159. The same goes for Brera and Spider. I'm gonna be removing the start button, key reader, navigation unit, climate control, small cluster and things like that. I'm gonna start with the navigation unit. I'm gonna use these two tools. They are approximately 3-4 millimeters uh, wide. Uh, I'm gonna insert them into these two access holes and I'm gonna gently wiggle out the navigation unit. Once I get it out, maybe like a centimeter or two, I'm basically just gonna pull it out with my hands. Just like that. First, I'm gonna undo the uh, antenna connector just by pulling it off. Now I'm gonna undo this connector right here. Uh, you got one plastic clip on the top. I'm gonna press it in and pull the connector out. To remove uh, this uh, bottom white one, all you gotta do is uh, press in this little plastic clip and pull the lever down. To remove this one you got two clips on the sides I'm gonna press them in and pull these connectors out these one are a bit tricky you gotta push in uh, this small plastic piece uh, before you can undo them and we got one more the green one uh, as I said you got one uh, plastic clip on the top all you gotta do is uh, press it in and uh, undo the connector now I'm gonna move down to this uh, plastic trim piece I'm gonna undo this uh, little button I'm gonna start from the uh, bottom and uh, pull this side out first be gentle these uh, plastic are very fragile I'm gonna pull it over the uh, gear shift Before I can remove it, I'm gonna undo these uh, two connectors. To undo the white one, you got the clip on the side. Now uh, I'm gonna move on to the vent removal. I'm gonna use this uh, steel wire which uh, comes with the new shocks. It has the nice hook on the end which is gonna help me remove these two vents. I'm gonna uh, push it in and I'm gonna grab the end of the vent and I'm just gonna pull it out they uh, come out pretty easily so they're not uh, much of a hassle I'm gonna do the uh, same thing on the right vent I'm not gonna remove the middle one since there are no screws beneath it you can see that the vents are held in place with these uh, metal clips. Moving on to the screws, there are six of them in total, uh, two on the bottom that you can see right here. There are two where the navigation uh, unit is located and there are two on the top uh, right where the uh, two vents that I just removed uh, were. Before I can remove this big piece, I gotta remove a few of these connectors. I'm gonna press on this uh, little clip. Now this one is a bit tricky, you gotta pull on the uh, small plastic piece to uh, remove the connector for the start button. You can see it right here. For the climate controls, uh, press on the little plastic piece and pull the lever down.
Now I'm gonna disassemble the climate control is using a three millimeter Allen socket. I got four screws that I gotta remove on each corner. Moving on to the start button, again I'm going to use a 3mm Allen socket, uh, it's held in place with uh, 3 screws that you can see right here. Lastly, I'm going to remove the key reader, again it's held in place uh, with uh, 3 identical screws. Moving on to the fuel uh, temperature and uh, turbo gauges, uh, it's held in place with uh, three Phillips screws. I'm gonna undo them and uh, I'm gonna remove it by pulling it to the left side. I got two trim pieces left, one on each side. I'm gonna start with this smaller one. Before I can remove it, I gotta remove this plastic cover and to do that, I'm gonna use my plastic trim tool. Here's uh, one three millimeter Allen screw that uh, needs to be undone. Again, I'm gonna use my spinner handle and my three millimeter Allen socket. Now I'm going to gently pull out this trim piece, as I said these plastics are very brittle and you can easily break them. This trim piece actually came out with the housing for the pins and uh, it can be quite tricky to remove them. Procedure on the other side is pretty much the same. I'm going to remove this uh, plastic cover which also holds the switch for the passenger airbag. I'm gonna remove this uh, three millimeter Allen screw. And now I'm gonna gently pry off this uh, trim piece. As I said, be very careful with these uh, because they can easily break. If we take a closer look here, you can see that it's held in place with these uh, pins. And uh, that would be all for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button and support our channel by subscribing and by sharing our content with the rest of our festive.